Well, everyone, it's that time of week again. We have to, I guess, reiterate the iPhone virus issue. So if you think you have a virus on your iPhone, I can rest assured you, you probably don't, but there are a few ways to go ahead and fix this. Now, a virus, if you see it like this, this is not a virus, okay? This is just a web page. So let me go ahead and break this down. Essentially, you may have gone to a website that may have not been the best website to go to, and you know maybe you got a little pop-up like this on your iPhone. Now, this type of pop-up is literally just, a, you know, it's an advertisement, a very malicious advertisement for you to essentially call these people or whatever, and then they will get your credit card information and they're going to scam you and then you're going to lose a bunch of money. You do not want to fall through with a, be a victim of this. So really the main way to go ahead and fix this is to essentially just hop out of your Safari browser, exit out of that specific, you know, web page or whatever, and then just go on with your day, open back up your Safari browser and see if it takes you back into you know, the virus page. If it takes you back into the virus page, what you're going to have to do is essentially click on your settings icon. So you'll come to a page like this. You then want to scroll down until you get into Safari. So it'll be down here under all these other apps. You want to click on it. And then you want to scroll down and click clear history and website data. Some of these ads, they've gotten so good, which is so annoying, that they'll essentially keep coming up over and over and over again. It's a very annoying. I hate it a lot, but that's, you, can, you can exit out of the app, but it'll just keep coming back up. So you're going to have to clear history and website data. And essentially, when you go back into it, You'll pretty much see that your app is good to go you will not see this pop up anymore now let's say you didn't even see this pop up in the first place but you think your iphone got a virus i will tell you iphone viruses are very very rare it's very rare for you to get a virus on your iphone unless you went out of your way to jailbreak your you know iphone and you installed a repo or installed a package or you know a tweak that was you know untrusted and it was completely out of nowhere and it was and it was a very not talked about, you know, specific tweak because most of the popular ones that even are like untrusted and aren't that great still work perfectly fine. So if you're in that specific case, you have no other choice than to reset your device. You had to factory reset it, delete everything off of it. Now, what does this look like? Well, essentially an iPhone virus will look like, you know, maybe you put your phone down and maybe it starts, you know, like actually being used by somebody. It looks like maybe there's some, you know, things going on in the background. Maybe you go into an app. Or maybe you see that some messages were sent on your device and maybe you didn't send them and there can be so many different things about it. Your really only option here is to reset your device. So you want to back up everything that you can from your iPhone. This includes photos, apps, whatever the case is, you want to back up every single thing on your iPhone. Then at that point, what you want to do is you want to go into your settings app after backing everything up. I'm going to say this three more times. You need to back everything up on your iPhone that you can do an iCloud backup, do an iTunes backup, files that backup whatever you can, back up everything on your device. Then you want to go into general, you want to click reset down here, and you want to click erase all content and settings. This is going to delete everything off your phone. So again, make sure you have everything backed up. And at that point, you should be good to go for the most part. You want to, you know, restore that backup, which I probably would recommend. I would recommend just manually giving back the data. So maybe, you know, sending your messages to yourself and then, you know, photos and all that videos and all that stuff. Most of your apps will already have your stuff built into the app, Snapchat, Instagram, all these things. So all you'll have to do is basically just restore your photos and messages if you want. And that's essentially it. Those are the main ways to fix a virus on your iPhone. If you guys have any other questions or anything like that, leave them down in the comment section below. Hit the like button. That would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. Every single subscriber that we get really does count. So it means so much for you guys to hit that. Also check out the other links down in the description as well. My Twitter, my Instagram, my other channels. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.